Hey guys, it's Kyle Torak here, and today I want to give you my tips and tricks for being successful at Warlock. Despite being an unfinished class, I am enjoying Warlock a lot. There are a few different play styles, but today I'll be going over my preferred style of kiting with spells. Oh, stop running like fish. <laughs> Tip number one, understanding your curses. It can be visually misleading at first, but your curses are a projectile. A lot of people aim their curses as if they are a hit scan, but you need to leave your targets. Here, you can see me landing a curse from my teammate's perspective. Learning the max range of your curses and leading your targets will lead to you being more successful with landing your spells. Tip number two, magical healing. Taking the magical healing perk enables all instances of magical damage to heal you on the curse target. This effect scales with magical healing, and magical damage you do once your curses are applied will heal you. This means the damage from Hellfire as well as Crystal Sword can heal you. I prefer to run plus 3 magical healing at minimum to be able to sustain myself in fights. Do not be afraid to multi-dart targets before going in, as well as dotting PvE targets. The extra heals from having multiple targets dotted will provide you with enough sustain to keep you alive. You will also save a lot of gold on consumes. Tip number 3, Phantomize. I know most Warlocks prefer to run Blow of Corruption, but Phantomize has saved my life more times than I can count. Your magical healing will continue to heal you while you are Phantomized, so you can multi-dot, take some damage, and then Phantomize. By the time it ends, you should have healed enough HP to win the fight. It can also get you out of hairy PvE situations and enable you to avoid dangerous kill shots. In team play, it can be utilized to bait your opponent in and allow your friends to clean up. Warnings though, the animation is delayed so make sure you aren't trying to iframe it at the last second. You will often get hit even though your hands have transformed and the cooldown was used. You can avoid fireball itself, but if they hit the ground beneath you, the explosion will still hit you. Tip number four, kite for your life. As fun as Warlock is as melee, you won't be able to outtrade good barbarians or fighters. Even when landing good parries, you can still lose the fight. Landing your dots beforehand and stalling with Phantomize will result in you winning most of your fights. In terms of perks, I recommend taking these three because the other ones don't work. At all. In terms of approaching combat, for PvP I lead with Curse of Pain. If there are multiple targets in range, I'll try and hit multiple people with it. If not, I'll swap the Power of Sacrifice. The power of Sacrifice is dangerous and I've killed myself plenty with it. When you land it though, the target melts really fast. If they aren't closing the gap, I'll spam Curse of Pain until they push or run. Depending on how low they are or how low I am, I will either swap the longsword or phantomize the stall for more dot damage. If I am able to outrun them, I will continue to spam dots until they die. If not, time to duke it out. This is my preferred loadout. In general, Warlock is exactly what the dev said it was, an unfinished class. If you enjoy melee or are using a longsword, fighter is better. If you enjoy slinging spells, wizard is your bet. If you enjoy being annoying as hell while you tickle people to death, Warlock is for you.